Now, how does a VPN work? In one of our previous episodes, what is VPN and why you might need it, we talked in details what is a VPN, what are some types of VPNs, what protocols VPNs use and why you might want to use it. Today we will talk in details how exactly does a VPN work and we'll do so straight away. Off we go! A high-level overview of how a VPN works would be this. VPN, a virtual private network, is creating a digital tunnel through which your internet traffic is routed, preventing prying eyes from seeing your data and your internet activity inside that VPN connection. To do this, your internet connection is routed through remote VPN servers, masking your IP address, often with addition of some encryption and other security features that make it virtually impossible for hostile or unwanted third parties to identify you, your connection or your computer. Now let's get into to details how exactly does a VPN work. Before I do that, consider subscribing if you're new here and smash the like button if you like it so far and let's proceed. To better understand how VPN works, it first helps to understand how your internet connection works without one. Now, without a VPN, when you try to access a website without a VPN, you are being connected to that site through your internet service provider or ICP. The ICP assigns you a unique IP address that can be used to identify you to the website. Because your ICP is handling and directing all your traffic, it can see which websites you visit and your activity can be linked to you by that unique IP address. Now, when you use internet with a VPN connection and when you turning on your VPN connection try to access other websites, the VPN app on your device, also called a VPN client, establishes a secure connection with a VPN server. Your traffic still passes through your ICP, but your ICP can no longer read it or see its final destination. The websites that you visit can no longer see your original IP address, only the IP address of the VPN server, which is shared by many other users and changes regularly. Now, here are some key concepts related to VPN that will help you to understand how VPN works and what benefits it provides. The first key concept is proxying, something that I have already mentioned in this video. The VPN server acts as a proxy server or stand-in for your internet activity. Instead of seeing you and your IP address, websites will only see the IP address of the VPN server, which adds up to you being anonymous on the internet. The second key concept is authentication. Establishing a secure connection is a tricky problem for internet security specialists. This process is called authentication, and once authenticated, the VPN client and VPN server can be sure that they are talking to each other and no one else. The third key concept is tunneling. VPNs also protect connection between the client and the server using tunneling and encryption. Tunneling is a process when each data packet is encapsulated into another data packet, and this makes it really hard for third parties to capture it while in transit. The next key concept is encryption. Data inside the tunnel is encrypted in such a way that only the recipient can decrypt it. This keeps the contents of your internet traffic completely private. Even your ICP internet service provider will not see it. How cool is that? Now, every VPN service is also using the VPN protocols. Now, what are VPN protocols? VPN protocols are the methods by which your device is connected to the VPN server. Some VPN protocols are better for speed, others for quality, and others act better and perform better under certain network conditions. There are different VPN protocols out there that VPN providers use, such as OpenVPN, PPTP, WireGuard, SSTP, IKEV2, L2TP, IPsec, and others. By the way, if you wonder which VPN providers give you the best quality and the best protection and also the best price for that, make sure to go and check out the links in the description for my top choice of best VPN providers on the web proven to work great. Now, let's sum it up. When you connect your computer or laptop or tablet or smartphone to a VPN server, it acts as if it is in the same local network as this VPN server. All your network traffic is sent via this secure connection to the VPN server. Because your computer behaves as if it's on the same local network, it allows you to use all local resources 
even if you're on the other side of the planet. You'll also be able to use internet as if you were in that location, in the location of your VPN server. That allows you to use geo-restricted websites, social media that is blocked in your country, buy tickets for reduced price and many, many other benefits. So when you browse the web while connected to the VPN, your computer can text the website through that encrypted VPN connection. The VPN forwards the request from you and then directs the response from the website to you through the secure connection. So for example, if you are using a VPN server located somewhere in the USA, you will be able to use Netflix and access all the Netflix libraries for USA audience only. Not only that, you will rest assured that you can use public Wi-Fi's without the danger of being hacked. You can commit payments through public Wi-Fi's, you can order tickets, you can do whatever you want in public Wi-Fi's without anyone else spying on you. Now, if this is something that you feel that you really need in your daily usage of internet, go and check out all the links in the description. I have found several great VPN providers for you. Go and check out the links. And if you like this episode, please smash the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss our new comings and see you really soon on this channel. Now keep yourself safe online. See you soon. Bye.